Youth Runner Magazine here at the Woodbridge Classic with Sandy Engelhardt of Ventura. Finished fifth in the uh, girls sweepstakes race, 1540.2 was her time. Um, obviously, incredible race, great competition. Um, you don't like finishing fifth. No, <laughs> no. No, but take us through the uh, but take us through the uh, the race. How did it play out for you? And were there any yeah. surprises? And yeah, I mean, first off, like my season had kind of a I'd say later start just because of you know the trials and everything and um, going into early July. So um, yeah, it's been sort of a slower start. Um, but I'm right where I was at last year. Um, and last year I started early, so I think I started in like June. Um, but yeah, definitely not like the place that I wanted. Um, but yeah, you can't deny, you know, some of those girls just train hard over the summer. And um, yeah, I think I'm not, I had a couple workouts, I'd say in the past like week or so that I thought, okay, I'm, you know, ready enough. Um, but I think it just wasn't fully there, so. Right. So you maybe had that in the back of your mind that maybe it wouldn't be fully there, at least compared to the other girls, or and compared to what you can really, right. really do, right? Yeah, yeah, and I see kind of what some of the other girls do during the summer, um, you know, like in that top ten, and um, yeah, I just thought it, I wasn't quite there yet. So um, yeah, I think you know my coach is generally trying to pick us for state to go to NXN sure. so yeah um, I hope that's where my fitness will really show but yeah this is a good starting point I think so time wise obviously this is going to be a flatter course than a lot of courses you're gonna race um, so are you looking for anything time wise I know winning is a big thing but also are you looking for time as you sort of progress through the season um, yeah I think uh, obviously it's different for every course um, I think yeah, at state, I'd like to um, come close to Claudia Lane's, I believe it's Claudia Lane's um, record, like 16.30, so. Right. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good goal, and I think, honestly, I just want to do well at NXN. I don't think the 26th place did me, I don't know, I I wasn't very happy with that. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to improve on everything. But in terms of this, this result here, how does that help you or what yeah. does that do for you going forward is this was this your best time here or no no uh, I ran um, I want to say three seconds faster last year okay. so yeah. I mean around pretty much um, yeah. and I think a lot of that was just mentally the last mile um, yeah I think it showed I mean I've had a couple weeks um, at like my highest mileage right now I've right. ever been doing is like 50 um, which is pretty, you know, substantial, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think just the workouts have to be faster. And, um, my coach will get me there. I trust him. So, so it sounds like you're disappointed not to win, but you're okay with where you're at yeah. at this point in the season. I mean, it's just it, it is my last Woodbridge. I'm trying to, you know, soak that in, and um, I think it, at the end of the day, it's a high school meet. You can't really be mad at that um, or mad with that. It's um, you know, next year I'll be in college. I'll be like. Looking at this is kind of like, oh, that was fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm excited um, to see, you know, how this result kind of affects the rest of the season. All right, thank you, Sadie. Thank you.